Welcome back to the homestead. We got a lot going on. It's hard to grow tomatoes in the dead of summer, especially here in Texas. It is so hot. It's about 100 degrees today and like 70% humidity is out of control. So we're going to show you how we're going to shade our tomatoes that uh, hopefully will extend their production a little bit more because when it's so hot, tomatoes just don't produce. They won't necessarily die off. They'll put on some foliage, but you won't get many tomatoes at all. So we're going to shade them a little bit. Of course, we're feeding our chickens. Got to give them those scraps. We're going to start building our garden today, uh, building our extra garden beds because we've got all that mushroom compost you saw us pick up in the past. Uh, I think that video was probably two months ago. It's been sitting there, hopefully uh, chilling out and cooling off because it was hot, i.e. high nitrogen content. We got some grapes to plant whole bunch of stuff going on. Let's go. Tick, 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 tick. Come on. Come on, girls. Tick, 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 tick. You all come to me when I call you. That's pretty cool. Good girls. Here you go. Look at all this stuff. You want the grass. Everybody else wants the Melon seeds, those are your favorite, aren't they? Y'all ate the fresh greens in there that I put. Now you want all this stuff. Hey, Ariel, I gotta show you something that happened today. What? Check this out. You see that? Wow! That's, is that the first egg? That is the very first egg. I'm so excited! I love her reaction. Uh, we got our first egg, but as you can see, it's in the compost pile. It's not a viable egg. Uh, it was sitting on the floor. It was covered in uh, poop. I, I had just, I had just covered the nesting boxes back up. Why? Because they were, somebody pooped in the nesting box. And to prevent that, you got to cover them up. And you don't want them to do that at all because then you're going to get dirty eggs. But a day after I did that, literally, no, sorry, two days after I did that. Two days after I did that, I did that on Friday, it's Sunday today. Two days after I did that, I find an egg on the floor of the coop this morning. And this is it. It is just a soft one. It's not a viable egg. We can't really eat it. It's, it's soft on the, on the outside. And there's no shell. And uh, there were ants all over it, and there, there was a lot of uh, chicken poop all over it. So we can't eat that one, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so after I found that first egg this morning on the floor of the coop, I obviously took the thing off the, uh, the, or the thing that was blocking the cardboard that was blocking the nesting boxes. And I actually put one of the hens, I did put three of the hens in there, but only one of them was really super ready. You could tell she was super ready. So let's open it up actually and see if she did lay anything. She was doing the nesting ritual and she was scraping things around you're gonna have to excuse me the fan for the chickens it's right above my head oh no she didn't she didn't lay an egg here we go but she did make a nice little nest in the back here she knocked out the ceramic egg she kept pushing it out i don't know why she didn't like it so i'm gonna have to go in there and actually put it back in it's always fun to make projects with your kids uh, ariel and i made this and of course she wanted it pink <laughs> she's a She's a farm girl, but man, does she love pink. That's cool. We're going to put this uh, birdhouse up that we actually didn't get any video footage of us making together. I don't know why. It was just one of those spontaneous things. And hey, that's cool. I don't have to videotape my entire life for y'all. But oh, maybe I took some pictures. I'll splice those in right here. I think we're just going to attach it to one of our fence posts here on the garden uh, instead of putting a big tall pole up somewhere. I'm not going to do that. Just going to do that so maybe some of the birds that hang around in here will want to uh, eat some bugs that are devastating my garden right now. That would be fantastic. So I've got two different types of shade cloth to try and shade these indeterminate tomatoes. And some of them are doing okay, but some of them just look terrible. We need to get this super hot 100 degree sun off them. It's pretty bad. So I've got this big 
triangle down here. That was actually for a house, and it's darn near like 80%, I think. 80% shade. I don't know if that's going to work. Uh, we've got about 20 feet, and it's about 13 by 13 uh, by 13. It's a triangle, 13 inches, e or 13 feet, 13 feet each side. Anyway, we got that, and we also got what we got here over our strawberries. And this is a 40% shade cloth. We usually use it over our strawberries because they also do not do well in the extreme Texas summer heat. So as you can see, that part is uh, shaded and this part is not. And we have got some, let's see if I can get the camera right here. We've got some strawberries over here. So check those out. Strawberries there, we've got strawberries here underneath and of course there's zero strawberries out here it's just way too hot we found that a shade cloth works really well in the summertime for strawberries when it's just blistering hot so do i want to take this off yeah i need to order a couple more honestly so i think i'm going to take it off order another one because i just need to get these tomatoes under some shade now or they're just not going to do anything at all and i can keep these indeterminate tomatoes for a long time i've had tomatoes well into october down here in texas so i want to keep them as healthy as possible giving them some relief is going to do that so i think i'm going to take the shade cloth off the strawberries maybe i'll put this thing on there i don't know maybe and uh give them some relief. I'm probably going to take these two bamboo uh, poles right there with their post hole digger and just sink them down in the ground a little bit and do it like a lean-to on this side of these, uh, these poor tomatoes looking rough right now. All right, let's take care of that. I don't need to go down terribly far. Maybe I'll go down about 18 inches or so. They're tall enough. Thin bamboo and a nice big hole from that post hole digger so I can put this down here at an angle and get a little bit more leverage on it which is perfect get all this sand back in the hole a little bit of clay as you can see as I dug up it's not that bad just tamping into place really quick process so we got our bamboo posts here in the ground and we got our shade cloth we did pull off the strawberries this shade cloth is pretty cool it comes with these little clips and you just kind of push them through each other. They just kind of secure themselves and they give you this little loop. I'm going to use this jute twine and tie it to the bamboo and then I'm going to tie it up top on our pole that carries the load of our uh, tomatoes that you saw me make in that last video with the tomato trellis. So if you haven't, go check it out up here. But also want to leave this in the description below for you. If you're interested in finding some great shade cloth, this is a good one that we found. And you know, honestly, this is the best priced jute twine we found also. It's a good thickness. It's a good strength. It holds up here in the summertime for a really good long period of time. And it is the best price we found. So all those in the description below. Let's get this thing up. Just going to tie an overhand knot through here. Nothing special, nothing fancy. Just enough to hold it. Here we go, simple lean-to. We've got it tied to the top um, crossbar there, wrapped around our bamboo posts and then tied off on our main posts. And as you can see, we've got a good amount of shade here underneath, perfect for this time of day. And we've got a little sun on the end here, but no big deal because our sun's gonna be going down soon and it will be blocked by these very large trees on the edge of our property right there. So. We've got, obviously we're in the uh, northern hemisphere, so no worries about blocking the sun from this side. It's, it's not really going to get anything on this side. That shade cloth will block out everything in that lean-to configuration. Block out everything we need for these tomatoes to have some breathing room. Let's hit that next project for the day. We are going to put your birdhouse right here. Nice. Yeah, you like that? Can you hold this drill for me? Of course, I like drills. Alright, cool. I think I'm going to just... <laughs> I'm going to put it on with this piece of metal strapping here. And I got a lag screw here in the bottom. I'm just going to put that in there and strap it on. Nothing fancy. 
nice and tight already, but we're going to put this one on. Here, I'll switch you. Give me that one. Okay, you take that one. Good work. Strapping's going to go up here. That's what girls are for, is to help? Mm -hmm. You can do it on your own. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to teach you to do, is do it on your own. Yeah. Does that make sense? And that's what girls are for, helping. Yeah. Helping? Awesome. Well, I appreciate your help so much. Are you learning a lot? Mm -hmm. Good. Just drag the back side. Pu push up one side and drag the other side. Like this? There you go. Perfect. Yep, right there. That's perfect. I want you to put your hand right there and push as hard as you can. Okay? Okay. <laughs> you don't have to hurt yourself. Okay. Well, no worries. Okay. Got it. Check it out, everyone. I made a bird has pink. You did make it pink. Here we go. Hopefully, we'll get some visitors in there really soon and uh, have some company for the garden to take care of those bugs. Hey y'all, I don't really ever film on my cell phone, but I have to film this on my cell phone because my camera died. I was finishing up the video, the vlog for you this week in building the garden and doing all that other stuff and the camera just died. The audio is all messed up. The batteries won't recognize in the camera. It is done. Four years old, eh, I guess I got a good life out of it, but I don't have a backup. I just have this cell phone. So you might not see a video from me for a few weeks because Looking on Amazon, uh, shipping times, even though I have Prime, shipping times are long and I gotta scrounge up some cash for a new camera. Uh, getting a good camera is gonna be important for this channel, but I don't know what I can afford to be honest. So there's a couple of barriers to moving forward here on the channel and I'm really sorry. That's going to be the way it is. Uh, go look in all my archives for all my other videos. And there's a lot of information there for you. Have a great day, and we'll see you when we see you. Bye.